Welcome Canva friends. Today we are going to work on a concave carousel. So I've seen this on a PowerPoint video and I wondered if I could recreate it in Canva. I did and now I'm going to show you how to do it in Canva. So let's go to Canva. So the first thing you are going to need to do is set up our background. So I want to use a gradient for this. So I'm going to go and I'm going to pick the gray and white one because it already has two of the colors that I want. I'm going to color pick. So I want two of those and then I want two blacks. So let's skip down and get a black and I want two of those. And then I want to move one of them to the front like so. And there's our background. So next, what we want to do is I want to go and I want to grab a frame. So let's see, I use this one, which is an iPad Pro portrait frame. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to kind of size it to the size that I want. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I don't want it super big, but I want kind of, kind of good. And then I want seven of these. So I want two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm only using five photos though, but I want two extras. And then what I want to do is line these up. Like so. How much I want hanging off the edge. And then I'm going to highlight these, go into position, go into a range, and I'm going to tidy them up. And then I'm going to see if I like my placement. I think I want to take these off just a smidge bit more. I'm going to come in and let's do the tidy up again and get them there. All right. Then I want to put place them where I want to place them within my carousel. If I want, if I want words up here, so you just place them where you want them on the page. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take these extra ones. Now this is, this is a choice to make if you want to do it. I do it for a reason. I want to, I want it to kind of look like it's smooth going in and smooth going out and not choppy right here, but you really don't have to do these two extras if you don't want to, but I am going to do them because that's my style and that's the way I like to do them. So now I have my carousel set up. Now the last thing you need to do for your page is you need to go and grab a circle. Sir. Cool. And you need to smush it up and then bring it over, bring it over. And then what you want to do is you want to put it on top like so and make your concave on the top. You can go fatter if you want to, thinner, but you would just want to make sure that your concave looks swooped in. Like so, so you got that good curve. Once you like your curve, you can duplicate this. And then what you're going to do is you do the same at the bottom. So you want to kind of get it in there and get it at the bottom. And there you have your curve. And then what you're going to do after that, you're just going to go in here. You're going to grab your color. Boom. Grab your color. Boom. And there you go. There is your concave. Now we're ready for photos. So let's, I'm going to go in and see all so I can grab the ones that I used. So what I want to do for my first frame is I want to grab this one right here and I want to put in my first photo. So we're going to do the hamburgers and we're going to put them in that first photo. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all these. I'm going to take the transparency down to zero. So this is your starting frame. So if you had any kind of text or anything you want to put on your start frame to start it off with, you can. And you can start off with a blank slate. Now I'm going to duplicate the page. So once I have the page duplicated, I want to go to my first visible frame. So I'm going to go and I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to take the transparency all the way up to 100. I'm going to take my hamburger, my hamburger, and I am going to put it into the frame. And then I'm going to grab my next photo, which is this one right here. And I'm going to see why I'm dinging. Okay. And then, okay, and then I'm going to go in here and try and hook it into this next one. Let's go a little bit smaller. Sometimes when you do these side ones, they want them to be small. And once you see, if you can see right here, see how it looks like it's kind of transparent a little bit and you can see through it, that's how you know it's in the frame. See, so it's inside the frame. If it looks solid, it's not inside that frame. If it looks transparent, it's in that frame. 
So now I have my first two in there and we're going to do one more set real quick. I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to bring my hamburger on. I'm going to go and take my next slide and put it up. I'm going to grab my hamburger and drop it into that one. I'm going to drop my pork skewers or whatever these are into that one. And the next picture we're going to use is the salad. I'm going to take my salad and I see it transparent, so it's not in there. So now what I want to do just to check before I get too deep into this is I'm going to take my match and move. I'm going to throw it all the way up. I am going to apply between all pages. I am going to change my timing to 1.8, enter, and see up at 1.8, and it says 2.2, 1.8, enter. Now it says 1.9. I swear I'm putting 1.8. And let's do this again. See, it doesn't do it, but they're close. They're there at two. I don't know why it does. Yeah, they're never what you say they are down here. So I'm going to play and see what my animation looks like starting off. So it comes in and it slides to the next one. So my animation is looking good. So what I'm going to do, I usually speed this part up, but I had, I've had some people say they want to slow it down and see me actually do it all the way through. So if you know how to do this, um, just go to the end part to where you need to look again. So I will be prattling on while we do this. So I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to take hamburger on. What do we want to do? Transparency up so you can see hamburger, pork skews, salad. And then in my other little transparent one, I want fish. All right, and then I want to duplicate the page again. I am going to highlight, not highlight, I am going to change the transparency all the way up. I'm going to do that, 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 fish. And then for my transparent one at the end, I want a bowl of soup, a bowl of soup. And we're going to do the whole carousel first, and then we're going to put the pop-ups in. So I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to go take this one, take the transparency up. I'm going to put in our hamburger, our skewers, our salad, our fish, our soup. And now when we get to this one here, because I have all my pictures done, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take this. I'm going to detach the image and I am going to trash it. So I got it all the way across now. So I want to do a quick test when I do that. So I'm going to apply my match and move between all the pages. And I'm going to go in here with my timing and I'll apply that across all pages. And let's look from here and see what we got going on. We got those. We got those. And we got it going across now. So let's work on it coming off. So I'm going to duplicate the page again. Now what you want to do is you want to get your hamburger. And you want to take that down. And then you want to put it in the Heidi one. That's over here. And you're going to do your skewers. You're going to do your salad gonna do your fish you're gonna do your soup and then you're gonna take this and do the same thing you're gonna detach the image you're gonna trash it you're gonna take this and turn the transparency all the way down and then we're gonna make our next slide duplicate that slide so I want to get one of these over right here make it slow put it into the Heidi one. Oh, that's up there it goes and then we want to go salad, come on, salad, fish, fish, uh, soup, and then detach the image and take the transparency down on that one. All right, so you can go all the way across and go out if you want to, but I feel like if you're doing something information, once you get to your final slide, you don't want them all kind of going off if you don't want to, but you can. Uh, I feel like you once you finish your final slide, you're going to want to come back and have
have them come back this way. So this is as far as we're going to take it. So now we're going to go grab a match and move, apply in between all pages, go up into my timeline, apply them between all pages to make them work. We're going to look and see what we have. Let's see what we got. We got coming in. Boom, boom, boom. And we got them coming across and going out. And that's your carousel. So now that we have the carousel part done, now we want to go in and we want to do the pop-outs. So you want it your pop-out when it gets to the first one that's in the center. So what I want to do now, so I got my first one that's in the center, which on this one is page four. I want to duplicate that page. What I want to do is I want to grab this, make it to the size I want, place it where I want. Make sure I'm going to go into position layers. I am going to put it at the top. At the top. I want to make sure I got the right picture. Put it at the top. Position where you want it to go. And then you're going to take these, the one, anything that's showing, you want to make them transparent. So we'll take the transparency down on those. And then we'll go over and we'll throw some text in here. I'm not going to go anything fancy fancy. We're just going to throw some text up there just so you can see what's going on. So if we look, you have it coming out and up like so. So now I want my text to kind of hit. We go slow, tap, tap, tap. I want my text to hit when this snaps, right? When this snaps into place. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go and I'm going to do my show time. And then I'm going to just go into like whatever I want it to hit like that. So if we go and look at it, it's going to rise up and my texts are going to pop in. So what you want to do there is you want to go and pop it up and pop it out. So that's how you're going to do your text. And you want it to come. Come on, stop going so far away from where. Stop. Come on, Canvas. Stop being mean. So now that I have my pop out, what I want to do here is I want to duplicate this unit. Again, uh, let me take the time and off of this thing because I wish the time would just go away. You didn't have to hide the time every time. So I want to go back in here and I want to duplicate that page that's before it. So in essence, you're going to duplicate this page three times because I want it to go back into its position before it rotates around. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to go. It's going to pop out with your text, and then it's going to pop back in the spot, and then it's going to go to the next one. So when you go to the next one, you're going to do the same thing. You're in the next slide. We're going to duplicate that slide. We're going to... You can go ahead and take these and make these transparent. You're going to take this photo, you're going to put it in the front, like so, and then you're going to make it bigger, whatever size you want to, and then you're going to throw some text in there. And however you want your text or whatever, and then you're going to go into your timing, and you are just going to bump it up after it pops and look at it make sure when it comes up see like I would I would want it to hit a little bit after that so you're just gonna work your timing out and same as before I have the timing on that and then you're gonna take the one before it duplicate that bring it over behind so it'll go back into its space. And then you're just going to do that for every picture that you that you're doing a pop out for. So that's how you do the pop out part. So let's I only got two popped out. So we're just going to watch that because I don't want this to be a million years long. So we're going to go our carousel is going to come in like so. And then we're going to go we're going to have our pop out and our text come in. It's going to go back in. And then what's going to happen is this is going to pop out and it's going to come back in. And that's how that's going to do it. And you can pop out the next ones and just keep doing your pop outs. And that's how you do this carousel. 
thank you for stopping by. I love you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments if, or hit me up on Facebook. You know the deal. I'll see you on the next one. This was a terrible tutorial to do because I've done it. This is like time number seven because I had a lot of issues with this. So, but I love you guys. And I will see you on the next one.